Hello YouTube, this is Daniel here from Tech Tutorials 101, back here with another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up IIS and set up your first website on IIS. So first, first off, you're going to need to get the IIS role or web server role installed on your server. So you want to open up server manager and then go to manage, add roles and features down to server roles and you want to scroll down to web server you don't have to have all of the features installed um, just tick the web server here and it will give you all the um, relevant features needed to provide you with a website if you need a FTP server you will go ahead and tick this here and just also make sure that you have the management tools installed as this will be needed to actually manage your IIS and actually deploy your website so as I've already installed it, I'm going to go over to Tools and navigate to IS Manager. So we can see here, I've got the server up here and we've got Sites. Now you can use the default website, but I'm going to go ahead and disable this and create a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Add Website. I'm going to call this test site and you can use you can create your own um, app pool um, or you can create a default app pool and what this is you is um, used for is to dis distinguish um, between different applications so let's say if you have a look if you have a lower website and they're all running um, under one app pool the default app pool um, you wouldn't know which website is causing a large amount of CPU. Also, if you decide to close down the app pool or terminate it, you would terminate all websites on that on that server or on that app pool. So this is a way of separating out your web applications so that they're only inside their own app pools and they don't affect other web applications. So be, being said, it's probably best if I create um, if I let it create a default one here, physical path. So this is going to be the physical path where you're going to place your website files. So I'm going to use the local disk, inet pup, and ww root. Again, you probably want to set, separate these out if you have multiple websites. So for the IP address, I'm just going to use all unassigned and HTTP as we're not going to be requiring HTTPS with this site. But if you are using HTTPS, you can specify your certificate here and also the port. Um, for hostname, I'm, I don't I don't really need it as I'm just going to be having one site. I don't need to distinguish between sites. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And that is our site. Up and running, you've got the start and stop buttons here, and you can browse to it here as well. You can configure limits. Um, if you want to provide any specific authentication for ASP.NET or anything like that, that can be done here. And also, if you want to use the certificate and require SSL, that can also be done once you've added a HTTPS binding. Login can be configured. The the directory right here and also the format as well so in order to set this site up you want to go and grab your index.html or your website files or anything that contains your website you can see here this is just a um just a dummy test page really that just that just has some basic information and in it just saying that it's a IIS test page. So I'm gonna take this and then put it into the website folder, which was in C INET pup WW root. And I'm gonna get rid of these as these are left over from the default website. I'm just gonna paste that in. And then go back to IIS. I'm going to give the site a restart and also show you the app pool which was created here. 
and then, then they're going to recycle that apple. So what recycling the apple will do is get rid of any um, connections that are already on that website. So if any users are currently logged into that server um, or logged into the site, their session will, will be terminated and they will have to log in again or navigate to the site. And now it's been done, we can go ahead and browse. And we can see here the IS test page has come up and we now have the response this to the test page. It's now loading via the local host. So in order for users to actually access the website, you will need to make sure that the correct firewall rules are in place, be it in Windows Firewall Manager, um, which is located here, or in your um, wider infrastructure, such as AWS, you would need to make sure there's rules in the security groups, or on your firewalls, you will need to have firewall rules as well to allow um, traffic to port 80 on the IP address that you've configured for this site. And if you want to change any of those details, you can come into bindings, which is up here. You can configure the HTTPS binding, the IP address you're going to use, and also the port as well, and provide a host name. So that is the end of this quick tutorial. Um, I will be adding more tutorials of IIS in the future, and also on load balancing and AWS as well. If you have any first suggestions for tutorials, please do let me know. Please like the video and please subscribe.